Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Landmiss video. Today I am very, very excited to have finally got my paws on the new Jones Road collection. This is the latest and greatest beauty brand and collection from Bobbi Brown, the Miss Bobbi Brown. And you know, Bobbi Brown left Bobbi Brown back in the day. <laughs> it's been a few years and in those few years she has created what I believe to be is her passion project and an entirely new beauty brand called Jones Road. And I was really excited to get my my hands on it. It wasn't previously available in Canada, but now it is. And actually the Jones Road Beauty team sent me a large selection of products, which was very kind. They also sent me a Jones Road sweater. So dear Jones Road team, thank you so much for this. Uh, this video is not sponsored in any way by them. I'm not working with the brand, but I did get a few of these products in PR. And then I also placed an order myself and the shipping as usual to Canada took forever, <laughs> but I no longer expect anything different whenever you're importing from other countries. So that's that's totally fine. But yeah, the shipping was fine. Uh, the packaging is really great. And I've had a little pre-play, so I already have some opinions on the products here today, but this is just gonna be a, a full face video on the Jones Road Beauty products. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. If you have tried the products yourselves, let us know in the comments below. If you like these full face videos and want me to continue doing them, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know if there are any other brands that you want me to do a full face review on. So my friends, we're gonna be talking about all things Jones Road today. I'm gonna to zoom you in and we're gonna put the makeup to the test on my face today. So let us begin actually with the packaging. I, I kept a few of the bits from the packaging. It came in a very cute box. Lots of very clean feeling recycled materials used here. And Bobbi Brown, like many other brands nowadays is definitely using the clean movement as part of her marketing, but um, excludes a lot of bad ingredients and has a whole list of fun info that you can find on their website. But let's, let's start with the packaging. So here is the little bag that came with it, which is very cute, cool, clean makeup, Jones Road. I just, I, I love the branding and I love the name. I really love all the tones used. I love the the text. Like I really appreciate and was drawn to this branding. So this is some of the packaging that the products come in. It's all this like really, really nice washed out kind of creamy pink, really pretty, really nice, all recyclable. And I also saved one of the packages of the brushes. The brushes come in cute little packaging like this little Jones Road tape, just just very tasteful. I, I'm a big fan of this this branding and all of the packaging that they used. So there's a lot of products here, not a complete full face in my opinion, but Bobbi Brown is and has always been a huge fan of like enhancing natural beauty, very natural makeup, just beautifying what you already have. And that was very clear in the time that she spent at Bobbi Brown. And it's what all of the products are kind of curated towards. And Jones Road is very much that like on another level, all of these products are meant to be multi-use. They're meant to be easy, simple, and just used to enhance your natural beauty and I'm really excited to play with them so I'm gonna start I'm just gonna go in order I'm gonna apply them on my face as we go I'm gonna start with the skin and <laughs> hopefully it'll be a lot more easy breezy after this because the skin is where I was I don't want to say confused but I am I was a little bit confused when it came to the skin products so she actually with Jones Road Beauty came out with an entire line of skincare so there's an eye cream there's a moisturizer there's a bunch of other miscellaneous skincare products to be honest I wasn't really interested in trying the skincare I'm really happy with my skincare lineup and I'm just gonna stick to that so this is pretty much we're, we're keeping on the makeup train here but I actually I prepped my skin with my well at a skin food today and Bobby Brown does say that if you have dry skin to make sure that you prep with moisturizer before before using these things. We'll talk about that more in a second. But so I didn't try the, the cream and the eye cream, but I did get a few of the skincare products from the Jones Road team. Again, thank you, Jones Road. They sent over the Hippie Stick Everywhere Balm. I'm gonna just do a close up of the product here. Again, I love the branding. It's very, very cute. And this is a product that reminds me of like my Cora Organics <laughs> hydrating balm, that thing that I used so many of. I raved about it for years. And I always love to keep a little hydrating stick like this. This is just an Everywhere Balm that's to hydrate all the things in the description it says that you can hydrate like cuticles elbows lips anywhere that's extra dry for an everywhere balm and for something that you can be like hydrating on the go with which is what i assume is the intention with this like very travel friendly packaging um it's really big it's i don't even know what to hold it next to here's a mac fix plus a full size fix plus it's it's a very large package so <laughs> i don't know if i would necessarily travel with this but 
maybe I'd actually keep this in my bathroom or at my bedside table and, and literally use that like in the winter on my elbows and knees and those extra, extra dry, crispy areas. It also says to use this if you want some points of like extra hydration or glow on the face. Um, and this is where I get a little bit lost because this is a hydrating bomb and everywhere hydrating bomb the ingredients look nice Then they've got the hydrating oil stick, which is a face oil in a stick. Now. This is a much more travel friendly size Okay, this is like the core organics bomb something that I would very easily and happily keep in my purse and take around on the go and Actually, let me just show you these side by side. This is the bomb a true like bomb looking formula. And then this is the little oil on a stick. Kind of looks like it would be like a glowy lip product, which I'm sure I could actually just use that on my lips. So this is where I get confused. This one is an everywhere bomb to hydrate random places that have extra dryness. Then the oil stick is also a random hydrator. They say that you can use this on your cuticles or on your lips or on any places of dryness. And like the examples of this, they also say that you can use this to hydrate and highlight points on the face. So even though this is a balm versus an oil, it's already two products that have a very similar use. And might, might I add, they feel beautiful. I've used them on my hands, my cuticles. The oil rubs out really nicely on the face. I would sooner use the oil than the balm on my face, by the way. But in the application tips and in the application videos that they have on the Jones Road uh, YouTube channel and also on the website, it's like they're being used in the same way. Okay, so that's that's the first look at the balm and the oil. I just put the oil a little bit on my high points to highlight and add some natural glow. In one of the videos, she uses this after she's done the makeup to add some extra highlight. And then one of the first makeup products that we have is the Miracle Balm. And this is also a hydrating balm product that has multiple different colors. There's also one that's called Eau Naturelle, which I actually don't have and it's, it's such a mistake. I don't know why I didn't order that color, I'm sorry. But they have ones with tints, so there's one that's called Dusty Rose, which Bobbi Brown says to use as a blush, that it would be beautiful on certain skin tones as a blush. And then they have a bronzer one, they have a sun-kissed one to add a subtle warm glow to the cheeks. So my point being here is that all of these products are kind of all balmy, hydrating, highlighting products. So because these ones are tinted and then there's also a natural one, like if you were comparing the natural miracle balm to the balm and then the oil stick, I'm like, what's what's the difference here? Like, I don't really understand how you would use these differently or differentiate them. I guess it's just the, the packaging and the specific colors that differentiate the miracle bombs. But basically when I went to do my makeup with these products, I was like, well, I could just use the miracle balm and do the same thing. If you had the shade Eau Naturelle, technically you could be highlighting and hydrating different points of the face with that too. So I guess that's just my thought. I was like, I don't know if all of these different ones were necessary. So let's go ahead and deep dive into the Miracle Bomb, speaking of. So the Miracle Bomb looks like this. I've got four shades of them. It's a hard solid bomb that you can press into and you're supposed to, to break the seal. I've already played with the, uh, this is the sun-kissed one. So I've broken the seal on the sun kissed one and it's basically just a, a smooth bomb that you pick up on your finger and you rub it out and you're just left with a little balmy hydrating tinted something so obviously they all have the different names and they all have a different slightly different shade and you can use them in different areas on your face so like i said bobby brown in the application videos and whatnot she suggests using some shades as blushes, some shades as bronzers, some shades just all over the skin to give a warm glow, and then that's it. Like, so in my makeup application, I would definitely be using this as a highlighter or as like a really thick primer. I'm gonna try and do it the Bobbi way today. So I'm actually gonna take the shade bronze and I'm gonna dip my finger. Sorry, I have to break the seal on this one. You gotta press a little bit hard, get it all in your nail, and then pick the product up. And then there's one like super in-depth video on the website of Bobbi Brown doing the makeup on one of the members of her team. And she just applied this all over the face and neck to give a warm glow. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take the shade bronze and she rubs it between her fingers and then presses it on. And it does, it feels very thick. It does feel like you're applying kind of like a, a cuticle balm all over the skin. And it's just giving a subtle warm glow, but it's not like coverage or anything. This is very much like a, a little bronzy tint. She also took this down the neck. She was talking about how the neck is always wetter which is very, very true. And I actually liked, she was um, taking the oil stick to hydrate the neck 
as she was applying the the miracle balm so i'm just going to do the same i'm going to apply the little oil stick to hydrate my neck feels nice honestly and then just kind of mix the miracle balm in with it so it's not really doing anything it's just like adding dewiness and and hydration and you know that's like that's a very dark product in the packaging but it pretty much just adds a very subtle glow to the skin and i do appreciate that there's no chunky glitters in here it is a true glow just to give it a little bit more depth i'm actually going to dip into the shade sun kissed here this is a deeper much deeper version than bronze and it's also a little bit more cool tone so i'm just going to take a, a little bit of this again i'm going to warm that up between my fingers and I'm just gonna apply that right on the, the cheek area just to see, yeah, no. It's not really adding that much more pigment or color, honestly. The price points of all the products are very much on the higher end. And when I first saw the Miracle Bomb, I kind of thought that it was gonna be more like like a cream foundation that was that was my assumption when i first saw it and then when i realized that it was really truly just like a cream highlighter or a cream hydrating balm you know it's quite a lot of product in here and quite a large package for something that you can actually just use so minimally on your skin i don't know if i would use this as a primer i wouldn't actually just wipe that all over my face i don't know what are your thoughts on that it's kind of like okay yeah it adds a nice little layer of hydration but so do these on the high points of the face and the pigment isn't enough to add like all that much bronze. Like I'd still wanna go in with a contour or a bronzer. <laughs> So that's the first look at the, the Miracle Balm. That's two shades applied on the skin. I'm not really sure how to feel, but we shall continue on. So now that we've got a really nice and hydrated base, we're gonna go in with the face pencils. These are the face pencils, and this is where you're gonna get your coverage. Now there's 25 different shades of these. Some of them are correctors, and then some are just meant to match the skin tone. I have a few shades of these. I'm using shade three and shade seven. I'm gonna use this to kind of highlight and, and tone around the face. Now, Bobby, whenever she's doing the makeup, like in the application videos, she's like, oh, I really want people to embrace the look of their skin. She's not really into full coverage. I definitely have like a lot of pigment and things going on <laughs> in my skin, so I always like to have have something that goes all over. I always like to have some kind of skin tint, but I am going to use the Bobby Method and Spot Conceal with these and generally use these to brighten up the center of my face. So I'm gonna start with shade three. She does say that these are a drier formula. So she said if you have dry skin that you definitely need to prep and hydrate the skin beforehand. I think we've done that with our multiple layers of hydration here today. And I'm gonna take shade three here and use this to brighten up under the eyes. When I used this previously, um, I didn't put a thick layer of the Wellita skin food underneath. I had just used the hydrating products and I definitely saw a lot of dryness and separation from the face pencil under my eyes specifically. So it's definitely something I would want to uh, focus more on the hydration with. So I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I'm gonna use my fingers to blend this out. They also have the everything brush, but I think we'll save that for blending it out on the face, just under the eyes here. I'm just gonna press this in with my finger and hopefully patting that in a little bit more will help to add a little bit more creaminess, hydration, and helping to soak it into the skin. It blends out really nicely. Like it's not a dry formula by any means, but it's definitely more on the, on the natural matte side. So it looks really nice just brightening up underneath the eyes. The idea is that you'd use these sparingly only to cover where you need. And she said, when she was talking about the face pencils, she said that ideally everyone would have two to four of these in their makeup bag to correct and conceal everything that they need. So it's meant to be used in multiple shades, depending on what you're needing to conceal and correct. And yeah, like it blends out really beautifully, especially now that we've hydrated. <laughs> accordingly. I'm going to take the brush and just see how this blends out with the brush. My only fear with the brush is that it would be like kind of removing some of the hydration that we're getting from our base products. Whereas when you're pressing it in with your skin, the warmth in your skin is like just adding to it in a way. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm going to take the shade seven and I'm just going to go a little a little ham with this especially on this cheek area i was <laughs> picking a zit here earlier and i've got a lot of pigmentation here so i do just want to i'm just gonna slap that all over and i'm gonna put this around my mouth too i 
the brush feels very nice. It's very similar to my beloved MAC 170 brush. Just a really nice, thick and soft kabuki style brush. I think a face stick like this is perfect for when you're on the go. If you want to have on the go touch-ups, that's a really beautiful uh, product to like keep in your purse and touch up on the go. And I also really like the size and again, like it blends out very nicely with both the fingers and the brush. I would not use this with a beauty sponge. I think it's just not liquidy enough <laughs> to use a beauty sponge with. I think the beauty sponge would just like swipe it off. You definitely need something with a little bit of grip here, but that looks really nice. I, I'd say there's a solid like light to medium coverage there. I wonder if we can build it up. Let's try just building it up here on the cheek. I do have so much pink and color in my cheeks naturally, so I, I just kind of like concealed around it. It almost looks like I already have blush on, but I do love this idea. I do love this more natural embracing your skin look. I do like it, but I think for me, I definitely want some kind of skin tint, a tinted moisturizer or a foundation as a base. And then I'm, I'm so happy to use products like this to conceal and just correct where you need it. And I love the idea of the pencils. I think the formula is really, really nice and they're perfect for on the go. So this is definitely like a big plus. I'm going to keep that in my everyday makeup bag for sure. And I think it looks really nice on the skin. You just, if you have dry skin, you definitely have to prep. I'm going to take a little bit more, sorry, and just put that on my eyelid because they were looking a little bit, a little bit pink and blue in comparison to the rest of my face. But yeah, I think my, definitely my preferred method with these is the finger, which on the face that can take a little bit longer, but it blends out really beautifully with the fingers in comparison to how it blends with the brush. It just like melts. It melts really nicely. What do you guys think? That's the base all applied. Bobby in her video was like, I don't like powder. I don't like to use powder. She said she uses it sparingly like on photo shoots and when she needs to, but that definitely reflects in the finish of this because it is more on that natural matte side. It is a product where I, I don't even feel like I'd have to use powder, but I always like to apply a little bit of powder like under my eyes and whatnot now that we're on our powder train life. <laughs> so it just depends on what the finished preference is, but I think the product is uh, for, for dry skin anyway. It's nice and matte enough and natural enough that you wouldn't need the powder necessarily. So let's move on to blush. Now, one of the products that I simply had to pick up and it's one of the products that I made in my order was the Lip and Cheek Stick. Uh, naturally, naturally, I got this in the shade Bright Pink. Love the packaging of this, really beautiful. Let's just show that next to the massive bomb packaging. It's definitely more slim and small and a really nice like creamy color, very like ASMR approved, very beautiful. And the bright pink, sorry, I did smush it. I smushed it into the lid and I have regrets, but here's the bright pink shade, very much a shade that I would love. And again, like she says in the application videos, like, oh, you can use Dusty Rose Miracle Balm to use as blush or use Sunkissed as blush, but then there's a blush stick. So again, if you're like buying the Miracle Balm, there are so many other products in the line that would <laughs> not be necessary if you're using the Miracle Balm. So I thought that was just kind of funny, but I really wanted to try the blush. So definitely picked it up. It's a beautiful, beautiful, creamy color. Uh, the bright pink is like everything to me and just a, a perfect shade. I, I love this color so much. And just like the rest of the products like blends in so beautifully and easily to the skin and has a really nice like dewy, creamy finish. So I really, really love this blush. I haven't actually put it on my lips yet. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be putting that on the lips. Put a little bit of that on the nose as well. Or a lot of it, oops. Ooh, I don't have my beauty blender out. I gotta fix this with a brush. <laughs> There's actually no lip liner in the lineup. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Victoria Beckham O2 just to define the lips a little bit. I don't know if I'm blind. If I swear to God, if I finish filming this video and someone's like, there is a lip liner and I didn't see it. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. But as of right now, as of this moment while I'm filming it, I did not see any lip liner products. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply mine. I always like to apply a lip liner to define my lips and bring some, some life back to them. And then I'm gonna take that bright pink and just apply that on the lips on top of it. Not a lot of pigment, like it's super subtle, super subtle, beautiful, and very moisturizing and creamy feeling on the lips. 
So that's the lip and cheek tint. So I am getting quite a bit of creasing on my eyelids. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my L'Oreal powder and just put a little bit of that to set that in so we don't get any movement around. And I am, I am feeling a little bit like shiny, like sweaty, shiny. So I definitely wanna take some powder and just use that in the center of my face just to remove some of that excess shine, the unwanted areas of shine. I may have just thwarted our mission, but oof, that L'Oreal powder is not, not playing nice with the base products. I don't try to see if you can see what I'm talking about. There's like a distinct drying, sucking line on top of that. It is so weird because I use this powder a lot. I've used it with a bunch of other products. Not, not mixing well with, with the concoction that we've got on our face. That's super wild. But I just looked like I aged like six years on the areas where I applied the powder. Oh my God, it looks like I look ill. Oh no, what half wheat rot. Okay, well, we'll try and like add some bronzer and some contour after just to complete the makeup after and hopefully that'll help. But basically like my skin is like, the products are like so thick and emollient that it's almost like piled up too much. Like even the blush, like it's just very, very thick and extra juicy. Like it's not, not playing well with powder at all for sure. So that is fa fascinating. We'll just, we'll leave the face to settle in a little bit. Let me just see if some Fix Plus can help fuse those together and let's move on to the eyes. Very, very excited about the eye products. I think she did such an incredible job with the eye products. Let's start with the, the best pencil, the eye pencils. I've got this one in the shade brown and black. It looks very similar to the Makeup Forever Artist pencils. I love to have a brown pencil on hand, always. That's my favorite daily look. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna take the brown pencil and, oh yeah, like so creamy, but almost in a, in a dry way. So for example, the Victoria Beckham Cocoa Eye Pencil is like <laughs> so wet that you almost can't, can't use too much or it'll go absolutely everywhere all over your face. This is nice. It's creamy without being like messy. Like it's just soft to apply on your eyes. It's not pulling, it's not dry. And yeah, that blends out really, really nicely. I know that I do this similar look all the time, but that's the point of having a go-to natural makeup to use on the daily. I'm just gonna take that and see how it blends out into the crease. I'm just gonna use a little bit of that with a flat shader brush and just push that in. Yeah, blends out perfectly, so easy. I would only really ever do this with the black pencil if I was doing like a very intentional, like deep smoky eye, but for the most part, I would definitely do this with the brown and it's a very cool toned brown. Not warm at all, it almost looks gray as you blend it out. So those are the eye pencils. Let's move on to the Just A Sec eyeshadows. Love that. The, the eyeshadows are called Just A Sec. And then this is the shade Bronze. So this is the sweet, sweet little pot of eyeshadow here. This is such a gorgeous color. It's got a really nice subtle shimmer to it. And one of those very easy one and done single pot eyeshadows that you can just slap on with your finger and be done. Love that. I'm gonna use the shade Bronze and just really apply that everywhere on the lid. The bronze is not gonna go with our flow so nicely here. I feel like everything on her face thus far is very cool tone, but I just really wanted to show you the formula of this. It's just the softest little cream shadow with really beautiful subtle shimmer running through it. It's really, really nice. I'd actually love to try more shades of this now that I have my hands on it. And the packaging is very small, very, very travel friendly, on the go friendly. I do just wanna take a little brush and soften that out. Sometimes it can be a little, a little messy when you apply it with your fingers, but this is a beautiful formula for sure. One of my favorite products from the Jones Road lineup. Next up, we've got the Individual Shadows, another one of my favorite products from the Jones Road Beauty lineup. I love this packaging so much. They're individual shadows, very nice and thin. The packaging is just so satisfying to hold. It makes me feel like I'm stacking up little stacks of gold. I just 
love them. I love the feeling. It's like matte, matted out packaging. It's, they're so nice. And if you're not really that into eyeshadow, I love that you can just buy one or two, a handful of your go-to shades to just curate your everyday eyeshadow lineup. And that's all you need. You can grab these, grab one of those little just a sec shadows, have an eye pencil, and you can do so much with those uh, products. I, I love these. I think the packaging is really beautiful too. So I'm gonna use this shade. Ash, Ash, and I'm just gonna use this to add a little bit of coolness to my lower lash line. The packaging reminds me of the Jillian Dempsey lid tints. Very, very similar, very similar feeling and shape packaging. I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and just adding that into the crease as well, just because we went really, really gold and warm with the bronze and the brown eye pencil ended up being like quite cool toned. So this is actually a really nice shade to just kind of soften that up and make it a little bit more cool toned in its finish as well. But the shadows themselves, beautiful, love the packaging. Next up for the eyes, she really went ham on the eye products. There's a lot of choice when it comes to the eye products, which is very fun. This is the Sparkle Wash. Love us a glitter top coat, you know. Listen, I'm just like putting them all on my face because I want to try. Like a lot of these products you could just use by themselves. Like you don't have to put on just a sec and then a sparkle wash, but you could if you want. We're just trying them all out right now. <laughs> but this is the shade So Pretty. Looks like a very, very gorgeous, taupey shimmery top coat. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just pat it on top of the bronze just a sec and see see how we get on with the glitter. I'm just gonna put that right onto the center of the lid. Ooh, it's a very cooling feeling. How unexpected and delightful. It's very wet, very, very wet indeed. And honestly, I'm not getting a lot of actually like chunky glitters in here. It's very similar in look to the just a sec eyeshadows actually, but maybe with a little bit more more of a reflection. So let's finish off the eyes now that we've put 12,000 products <laughs> on our eyes. This is the mascara in pitch black. The Jones Road Mascara. I like that it's got a nice big thick wand. It's got a little curve to it, which makes it a little bit easier to apply. And it's not the hard pokey plastic bristles, which I am very happy about. Let's see, I haven't used the mascara yet. So this will be a first, a first use. Wow. Very lifting, very fluffy. Okay, that's the finished look of the mascara. My lashes are feeling very lifted. It's got a very, very excellent lifting effect to it. Like I can fully see my underwater line. It's like, hello, hello. So as for the rest of the lineup, I have the cool glosses here, which I wasn't really um, interested in putting a gloss on top. I actually think I really like the lip and cheek balm because it just matches with the blush right now. Uh, but the one shade I just wanted to see was the Mocha Shimmer Cool Gloss, which has a very, very intense peppermint flavor and scent. So that's the Mocha Shimmer. It's a little bit warm for me. Let me just put a little bit, just to give a little bit of a glossy effect. The Cool Glosses were just kind of a, a meh for me. There's so many great glosses out there. Um, I don't really see this as a differentiating product, to be honest. But that is my full face of Jones Road Beauty. I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on the products that I've used and as well as the finished look. There's products in here that I will absolutely use again and that I'm very excited about. I think across the board, the eyeshadow products, the eye products are really beautiful and very thoughtful and easy to use for every day. I do wish that the brown eye pencil was a little bit more of a true like warmer chocolatey brown. The formula is really, really nice and so easy to blend out. But as you guys saw when I did blend it out onto my eye, it really pulled like a true gray. It kind of looked like I was just doing like a gray smoky eye. So I I would love to see this in a true brown chocolate, but otherwise the formula is beautiful. I love the lip and cheek blush. The bright pink is a beautiful shade. I think just layered up with the Miracle Balm and the other products, it's just like, it's just like too much thick wetness on my cheek. Like I know if I let my, I was gonna put my hair down and, and let my look be complete, but I just know that my hair is just gonna stick fully 
<laughs> into this on my cheek so that I'm kind of like eh. I think the face pencil is going to be very promising and like I said before it's going to be great for touching up on the go and spot concealing and for those like lighter fresher more natural skin days that's really great if you just want something a little bit more light in coverage and then with the skincare products uh the two bombs the oil bomb the everything bomb and then the miracle bomb I I just really want to hear your guys's thoughts you you heard my spiel at the start of this video but I'd love to hear your thoughts on how they apply and you know, I'm curious to hear how you would use them and how you would differentiate the products when using them on your face. So everybody, that is the finished look and that is my full face using Jones Road Beauty. I can't wait to hear your thoughts, your deliberations. Let me know all of your feelings in the comments down below. I was so happy to have finally been able to try the products. I've been very curious ever since uh, Bobby Brown came out with the new lineup and the brand, and I'm excited to see what else they come out with in the future. And there's a lot of beautiful products that I think will definitely be gracing my face as well as videos coming up here in the future. And I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts. If you've tried the products, let us know your feelings in the comments below. And with that my friends i'm going to bid you adieu thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you all very soon for a new one thanks for watching guys bye